Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right. We got G and McDougal. Harold McDougal. Local drug enthusiast in the West. The wildest drug enthusiast ever. Yeah, I'm not sure, Kohan, that tweet. I know there's some stuff changing on that, yeah. Uh, yo, Campos with a sub, too. Thank you very much, Campos. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Appreciate that, homie. What is it right here? Wait, what? Oh, come back between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. Okay. I need to hit the sack real quick. Back to the bed. Yeah, it was a 360. PS3 360 game. I played it on PlayStation 3. When it first came out. Back in the day. Nighttime, guys. Nighttime. Six PM. Nice Zippo. I'm getting that grind going, man. Alright, what time is it? Alright, I think it's time. If my calculations are correct, as in reading a watch or a clock, I think it's time. Howdy. Howdy. Spoopy time, right? Yeah. This game was like a great memory generator. It's so good. Yo, all good campus? No worries, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Professor. <laughs> oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing? The thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. The fucking savages! <laughs> savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? <laughs> oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the Professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you both want to do anything like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology. Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to run across the rooftop. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> John freaking Marston, man. 
Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. Come on. We can get to the roof this way. Let's go, man. Did I restock? I did. I'm good. We're good. Do something! He's going to kill me! You have reached your dying place. Be at peace. Oh. <laughs> Whew. I thought I shot Don't the professor. Time. Christ alive! How many are there? And we're completely oh. surrounded! Most of them. Yeah, the man. Clear. Come on, then. Let's make a break for it. Dude, this game literally is a great movie. Honestly, like, I would absolutely watch this game. It's a straight-up movie. The horses should be in an alleyway down here. <laughs> I hand you over, and rip you limb to limb. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Never in all my days. Oh my gosh. Hey, McDougal, out of the way. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Come on, come on. Let's, let's go, man. Let's go. Yo, DJ Geth. Thank you very much for 28 months. Hey, buddy. You didn't want to interrupt the cutscene. Love the stream as always. Thank you very much, DJ Geth. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, ambiance, sound. This this game's just that's so good, man. Makes me excited for the next one. Yo, Josh Brolin, right as the lead? That would be amazing. This John Marston. He'd make a great John Marston. Leave me alone. Best. No! Here they come again! Come on. Crap. Best. Oh boy, it's killing them. Campbell's absolutely, man. Come on. Crap. You're dead, friend. That's a yikes. What are you going to do now? Get as far away from here as humanly possible. Back to where people eat with knives and forks. And don't spend every second of the day trying to kill each other. <laughs> no, I never played the zombies one. Didn't play it yet. My research is complete. Much as I thought. There's no civilizing this savage land. Letter Whopper. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Best of luck, dear friend. <laughs> So long, Professor. So, long, sir. so good, man. 
Yo, Ranger Campos with two months. Hope all is well. Enjoy the rest of your night, my man. Thank you very much, Ranger Campos. Appreciate it, man. 100 bucks for helping McDougal. How about it? Some good cash right there. Yeah. I do say so myself. Oh boy. Now I'm not even gonna skin it. How rude. Jesus, John Marston. You're gonna be such a badass, man. So cruel. Yeah, I'm pumped to see the gameplay reveal tomorrow, too. I hope it's not just like a 30 second, like, riding horse. Like, I wanna, I wanna see a few details. Be pretty awesome. No wolves. You stay away from me. Wait, let's, uh. Let's mark the G in here. Yep. Just to be safe. Agent Ross. Right, yeah, like a quick sizzle. I don't know. Like, I, I want to, I want to see like a good two minutes of gameplay at least. Got him. Turn the lawman for your reward. How about that money? Six dollar. Kind of want to tie him up. Kind of want a hog tie. Now be quiet. You can die on the rope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cut your throat. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> we should take him. Let's put him on the horse. In-depth footage still. things, yeah, maybe. Right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Hey, Dark there. Zeus. Attaboy. Put him on the horse. We're in a bit of a rush. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let me get you to a doctor. Just let the doctor order. Is he okay with this? What happens if you roll him into town? Likely explain why the desert doesn't feel empty? Say what? Oh, I could dump him off at church. Let's do that. Dumping you off at church, man. Carry a victim. Yeah, it sounds like he's enjoying it, right? Oh, this is fun. <laughs> really? I pray and I pray and for what? Oh, tied a little tighter there. That a boy. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, ma'am. Do what you please. <laughs> All right, justice has been served, guys. <laughs> John Marston, he's not a complicated man. Some say he's a little crazy at times. He gets the job done, though. Slow down. Do we have to come back until, like in the morning? Yeah, we do, 7 a.m. Yeah, repent. <laughs> Repent for your sins. Said so seven AM, yeah. Later, campus. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah, she did not care whatsoever as soon as I dropped him on the floor. She was like, whatever. The Lord will protect me. Wow. Whoops. Save again. Yeah, six bucks, right? What if I don't pay the bounty? Then I actually made six bucks. 
This game came out in 2010, Remonator. Wowzers, right? We need to sleep one more time? Go time. Just dropping in. Refuse to believe it's eight years old. I know, man. It's crazy. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to have a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Really now? Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building. So cover it tight. You see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitch them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Okay. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook hey, John. Them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. The law is gonna keep coming until you're done. Nobody shoots until I say. Okay. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. They shot Ooh. him dead. They're coming out. Gun them down! Oop. The windows, pick them off! I'm no Reload. Take out those snipers in the window. Great God. They're making a break for it. Poor guys. It's getting destroyed, man. Is there a dude right here? I can't see. <laughs> All right. Hey, Koss, how you doing? Sutter's forward, downtown center. I actually have, right? Yeah. Yep. See a lock. Now, we need to get in there. Let's go. Watch out, Ross. Come here, boy. Help me. What happened? So much for auto aim. Help me. Please. One second. Did I just shoot her? Woof! Yikes, man. What do you think you're playing at? Come on, let's 
Check out up there. Right, it's time for the gun. Lament. The revolver. Come on, Marston. Oh, it's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, Oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Damn. God damn. All right, Dutch. Hold on, I gotta loot these guys real quick. What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. <laughs> you got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Mount up. You went this way. Yeah. You straight up shot her, man. Dutch, you crazy son of a bitch. Yeah. Let's get him. Dude, Dutch it straight up hightailed it out of there, man. He's the teleporter. Stop Anderlin escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself safe. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. I didn't loot the girl. <laughs> she wanna have some money. So Crap. that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. Violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. <laughs> Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot. Damn, Mr. Uh, burnt the car. Come on now. <laughs> Riding lessons, yeah. No, John. Johnny boy. This is my second playthrough. The first time I played it was way back when it was released. It's so like eight years ago, roughly.
no bullet flinch here. Come on, Marston. Get it going. Yo, Ten Tails Juby, thanks for 19 months, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I remember me and my friends would always kill each other's horses with tomahawks in Red Dead Redemption. Great times. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think there is people who still play the online. play this game uh just know my grandpa oh it's good delicious dr delicious this is a really good game it holds up too where's dutch marston he got away uh, scared to shoot him too much to handle when the opportunity presents itself i'll put a bullet in him don't you worry I won't like myself for doing it but i'll do it oh, good man good man you know at the end of this you'll probably get a medal i know i shall Damn, man. We had Dutch. Couldn't tie it up, man. Oh, we're getting famous, man. Much fame. Upstanding night in the bleak western wilderness. Law and eyewitnesses only report crimes after the first murder committed. Really? Hmm. Damn government boys. Making John Marston's job difficult. Yeah. All right. Just a good looting. Looting, rooting, tooting. Playing because of the reveal more. I've been on Twitch uh, much lately. I've wanted to do a playthrough before Forsaken hits Ten Tails because Forsaken, I'm not going to have any time to play Red Dead 1. Uh, but when Red Dead 2 comes out, I'm absolutely going to be playing Red Dead 2. Absolutely. Super excited about it. Yeah, it comes out end of October. So I'm essentially going to have a month. Whoa, big boar. Wild boar. Skin, please. Boar meat. Boar skin. Okay. That's pretty good. So yeah, it comes out end of October. I definitely wanted to do a playthrough before that happens. Because it's a classic. It really is. Later, Sheriff. Have a good night. Come on. Come on. New Spider-Man comes out next month, too? Not gonna have a yeah, Spider-Man. Like, I'm gonna have to put off Spider-Man. Like, October, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. It's going to be a tough one. I'm definitely not going to miss the, the launch of Red Dead, though. I'm 100% going to be playing it. And I'm interested to see what type of online stuff is going to be there. If there's things to... Things to, like, work towards via the online. Epona, right? Epona? It's technically a prequel, but they're calling it Red Dead Redemption 2. Dude, the game's landscapes are incredible for a game from 2010. 
it's pretty nuts that this ran on a PS3 and a 360. Given the hardware was like pretty aged at that point. I think they never ported over to PC because it was just so incredibly optimized for those platforms that like they would have had to rewrite a ton of code in order to make it work on PC. My bad. My bad, sir. Governor. <laughs> Who you play as in Red Dead Team? I'm not sure, actually. I haven't been looking too much about it. Twisted, I'm close to my second set of being masterworked. Well, I mean, I'm like halfway through my blue armor for my warlock. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. <laughs> but since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. Damn. Yeah, I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. <laughs> you see, we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers or whatever in God's name you were just talking about is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Vanderlyn to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good like saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. This guy's such a prick. Yeah, Florida, I feel you on that. Because it's like he leads the conversation with, where's my family? Mmm. Once again, another gallon gun. Okay. Let's do it. Giddy up. Ha 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 ha. Trigger finger, man. What can I say? Whoops. Whoopsies. 
can do it again. Just mow them all down. <laughs> John Marston, you dumb bitch. You ain't no flower. You got killed based on the head. Head being shot when looking at the flower. Goddamn. <laughs> don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, God. That was close. Now keep your finger off that trigger until we get out of Blackwater. Speak of the devil. Uh, <laughs> telling me to not shoot anything, Jesus. Play the game, John Marston. Yeah, play the game. They told me about these. The army's been building them in This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads. Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Large the cache. The gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. No mistakes this time. None. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. <laughs> Could do it. It's tough, man. The trigger finger. Here the cow. Look, they brought the machine gun. Yeah, it's like early 1900s. Snowy, yeah. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position then. Have your men ready to run them down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get to the sandbags! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Okay. Let's go, Tim. Everybody stay alert. Broken, you don't have to. You get cosmetics essentially. Targets on the horizon! Fire at will! Who wants this now? Get them back! Who the hell is shooting me? Sons of bitches! Take them early! Keep going! Kill those bastards! Move out! Don't let them get away! Move out, man. Is that right. one? Oh. This thing's a lot bumpier off the road. It's gonna be a mess if we have to follow them into the woods. Dude, it's already a mess, man. What are you talking about? This is insanity! I can hardly hold on! Just shut up and drive, Fordham! Look out behind those rocks! Now! Travis, we're finishing up this game. We're almost done. Hold him up! Was shooting the truck. <laughs> Take him down! God damn it! Don't let him get too close! You ain't stopping me now! Goodness.
this, man. Yo, Monkey Master, thanks for 23, homie. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Loot? Look at the wagon. Okay. That wagon's out of control. It's coming straight out of our cavalry. Take it out, man. Oh, you don't say. Okay, now. <laughs> I got taken out there for a second. Wait, actually, maybe I did get taken out. No? No, I guess that was supposed to happen. Okay. Yep. Yo, Monkey Man says, Yo, one more month to the golden sexy beard. Also, I keep waiting for Will Smith to show up once in a while in the West. Uh, then Marston just shoots him and walks off. Oh my gosh. Be amazing, actually, Monkey Man, sir. It would be, that's almost two years, by the way, man. It's a long time. Well, Mr. Marston, it seems like your mentor, Dutch, no longer looks quite so kindly to a student. That man is insane. Yeah. So it seems. I think we need to get him before sundown. As you say, Captain. Otherwise, he'll be gone again. Yeah, go high. Most what likely. What if I say no? <laughs> now, before I shoot you myself, let me just point out the obvious. The one person we have left that can appeal to Mr. Vanderlyn is the last person we know who knows him. Your wife. That won't be necessary. Mr. Ross, Captain, let's go. <clears throat> Mount up, man. Let's move out. Well, well, West, man. Trev's your second, second time. Yeah. Getting jiggy with it, yeah. <laughs> Am I going to do the zombie DLC? Uh, maybe. We'll see. There's a lot of games I want to play. I know it's really good. Yeah. But there's like Monster Hunter World. There's Dead Cells. It's just... Oh, that's a bear. He's crazy, but he certainly ain't still already seen that place, right? McDougal told me you went up there with freaking bear. I've seen it all right. We'll be lucky to last five minutes with this many men. That's what they keep telling me. But if you feel like doing it, please be my guest. This is suicide, if you ask me. My scouts have seen that fort of his. I wanted to wait for more men, but them city boys back there weren't having none of it. And you answer to them? Unfortunately, it seems that now we do. Mm-hmm. They said you was in a gang with this Dutch Vanderland. I was once, a long time ago. Don't seem like the kind of fella you want to run with. Unless I completely misjudge your character, of course. When he turned crazy, I left. At least I tried to leave. Till those suits back there came and knocking, threatening to kill my wife and son if I didn't go after him. Strange times we live in, partner. Strange times. Partner. Hey, partner. It's a funny business. Army, government men, criminals, with all due respect. You're telling me. Too many hands on the tiller, if you ask me. This is how mistakes happen. My boys don't know who's giving the orders no more. Take it from me, mister. If we get up there, it ain't gonna matter. Look at this. Snow. We must be getting up high now. It'll be every man for himself. We get in Dutch, guys. What's good about Dead Cells? It's finally released out of early access as a 1.0. It's on like Xbox, PS4, Switch, obviously Steam on PC. And it's just like an incredibly well done roguelite Metroidvania side scroller with like pixel graphics. It's really good. Yeah, it's got Twitch integration too. But like, I've been, I played it a little bit on the Switch. It plays phenomenal on Switch. Like, it's a perfect Switch game. Every time you play, it's like it, it's like a different game, essentially. Or not not a full-on different game, but like the variables change. You can run different builds. You can you happen to get a different type of weapon, or you try to do like a turret build or a bomb build, or you're going for strictly melee, or you're going for ranged weapons. It's it's really cool. 
And there's a lot of progression too, to it. So you can keep on playing and feel like you're working towards stuff. Okay, that worked out. Let's go. Yeah, there's loot. Like you unlock things. Yep. Again, as a side scroller. It's really cool. Dude, that was a nice shortcut, wasn't it? But the game's been in development, I think, since like 2010, 2012, something like that. It's their first game. And it plays phenomenal. I'm into those type of games, though. Oh, yeah, Skyrim it. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, like six dudes or something. Yep. Hey, Randomizen. Welcome back. Get down, it thing about blow. Forward, move in. Come on, boys. Yeah, Bethesda, uh, Bethesda, my way up the mountain, exactly. It's a freaking shotgun. I have my shotgun out. Controller, Trappist. You know, Master Keyboard wasn't too bad, but like, I think controller is definitely the better way to go. This guy, man, he's up there. I think so. Explosions. Did he survived that. Oh, say what? Okay, sweet. Yeah, sweet business, right? Yo, what if there's a gun in Destiny that required turret mode? Like you could adjust it to be turreted? That'd be nuts, man.
Yeah, randomize. It's it's good, man. I'm super excited about everything that's coming for Forsaken. Mm-hmm. Right, Marston. We'll take two men with us. The rest will stay here and take care of the wounded. They'll plant charges at the gate. You and I'll provide the cover fire. All right, man. Blow that gate open. Get ready to hold off their fire, Marston. Up top! Cover up! Part of the army, man. Take cover, man. Dad, there should be fire in the hole. God damn. You tend to your wounded. I gotta face Dutch alone. All right. Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. You better follow me. I'll send you. Yikes. A thing. I don't have a it choice. Hurt. There's always a choice. You're just too blind to see. They got my family. Your uh. family? Abigail was any man's wife, John. And Jack. He's another horse, just like you. You're weak. You're weak. You never had the There it is. All right. God damn it. You'll never take me alive, John. Chase Dutch. Oops. Okay. It's over, John. I ain't leaving here without you. We hog time him? I feel like we gotta kill him. We gotta hit Dutch with the special sauce, man. Damn, Dutch. You're just like me, John. <laughs> Can't change who you are. Damn. I ain't like you. Anything here? Dutch's stuff? No? Alright. Recently upgraded every part of my PC and every time I play a game it crashes. Try the desktop or a blue screen? Blue screen? It sounds like a... Could be a cooling issue, DJ Geth. Sounds like your GPU might be overheating or something. Something in the PC might be overheating that... Which crashes, crashes it. Could be. Just That's casually right, firing. Wrong. Can't talk about that right now, Trubster. Sorry, man. Playing Red Dead. Dutch, we got to stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. You got a plan, man. This is a good one. 
I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. We can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to. Because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. Damn. Bye, Dutch. Off the edge, as they say. Ooh, smash. So at the end, you didn't have the guts to shoot him. The man's dead, Ross. Sure. Can I see your gun? Guns? Hmm. Oh, trust me. It looks better in the report that way. <laughs> Where's my family? Uh, your wife was killed in a prison riot last week. I'm only joking, dear boy. They were bad to time for a joke. Scrabble Ranch of yours in Beecher's Hope. They're quite safe and sound. They better be. Oh Thank my you, God! Morrison, for everything. I know this wasn't easy for you, but I have to say, you've done your country. Proud. Just a prank, right? Yeah, exactly. Yo, bearded said, "Thanks for the biddies, man. I appreciate around, that. Thank John. you." Try to stay out of trouble. Come on, Archer. Let's go find somebody else we can annoy. Just like that, man. Just like that. Come on. Oh, I'm a gunslinger, guys. Hell yeah. Now I know the only Song time. That I need. You're famous from now on. You no longer get in trouble for stealing horses. Because you're famous. The feels, right? Beecher's house, man. Hey, little bloody. Great music, right? Yeah. This whole game is full of. Great music. Slow up. Slow up now. The outlaws return. <laughs> that joke. Oh, she died in a prison riot. It's like bad timing. Abigail. Jack. Anyone here? Anyone home? Oh, darling. I never thought I'd see this day again. 
You no good hillbilly piece of shit! I thought you was dead! I thought you was dead, John, huh? Where you been? Where you been? You know where I've been, darling! You know! You saw Dutch, didn't you? Yeah, I saw him. And Bill? Yeah, I saw him too. And you didn't go back to him? I left that life. Just as you left yours. How'd they treat you? Oh, I can take care of myself, John. One guard got funny on me one time, but I wasn't so ladylike, and he didn't try it again. Nor no one else. How's the boy? Oh, like you. <laughs> and like me. Well, he's like a kid growing up without a father. That ain't fair. What is fair? Well, some trees flourish, others die. Some cattle grow strong, others are taken by wolves. Some men are born rich enough and dumb enough to enjoy their lives. Ain't nothing fair, you know that. We tried to change, I mean, ain't that what you're supposed to do? We did change. And it's over now. Jack! Jack, come here, boy. Hello, sir. Come here. Boy. <laughs> How you been? Coyotes ate all the chickens and poachers took the cattle. I tried, father. I tried. I know you did, son. I know. And don't you go blaming me, boy. Don't you go blaming me. I ain't blaming no one, old man, but since you're still alive, there's four mouths to feed. And no cattle. That's a nice way to greet somebody. Why don't I get to warm and tender embrace? <laughs> Consider the beard is disgusting. You, your embrace, old man. You were supposed to look after the place. I did. Well, I did my best. Thing is, there was too many of them. Uh, I thought you was dead. I wasn't drinking. Hold your excuses until <laughs> you figured out which one to use. <laughs> Jack, go get your bags packed, boy. We got work to do. We leave in the morning. Go on. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Well, it's getting kind of dark now, but in the morning we've got to go get ourselves some more cattle. I've got friends at McFarland's ranch. It's over in Hennigan's stead who can sell us some. Now, Abigail, I hope you've learned to cook. <laughs> yes, didn't I say, rather than some prison, they actually kept me incarcerated in a cooking school for young ladies. A bit of tobacco. Hey, too fictional. Cooking mini game, right? Yeah. <laughs> Abigail's quite the peach. my horse Rod McFarlands Doing good fictional tell you she said it was some kind of important government business that's about right some people thought I owed them some favor why did they take us away they thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself almost those men harm you I know they're okay some of them even told me stories I think I'd like to be a government man one day <laughs> or, or a politician 
I'd rather you chose an honest profession. <laughs> like you, you mean? I know I ain't been the best father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But all that, that life, it's over now. Oh, was it something to do with Mr. Dutch and Bill? Why you went away? Who told you that? I kept hearing people say their names. Th that's all. Yeah, I caught up with Bill and Dutch. We had some old business needed settling. Where old are they business. Now? They're gone, son. We won't be seeing them again. They were angry at you, weren't they? That's why we had to leave. They were just good men who turned bad. I'll explain it to you one day. And what does that make you? I guess I'm a, a bad man who tried to be a good father. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready to learn about herding cattle? I've never seen you herd anything, Mom. Apart from the odd pack of drugs. The McFarlands were good to me, and I helped them out in return. I learned a few things along the way. Wait till you see that ranch. What ours will be one day. I read in the newspaper that ranch is dead. Soon it'll just be factories and businesses around here. Damn. You should believe everything you read. I was thinking, maybe I might be a businessman. I thought you wanted to be a writer. Well, I could be both. A rich industrialist who writes novels about the Old West on the side. <laughs> you can be whatever you want, son, but for now, let's concentrate on getting some food on the table. Unless you're planning on striking literary gold in the next day or two, that is. Literary gold, man. See, it begins killing the Bible. We'll talk later, <laughs> son. Right now, I need to concentrate on not getting us lost. There's the ranch. Come on, let's see if we can find Mr. McFarland. <laughs> Jack, please, right? There you go. John Marston. Now, there's a face I thought I'd never see again. However, our public servants in Blackwater sent you back on another homicidal errand to protect <laughs> and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My boy, it would be a pleasure. Bonnie's out to crown now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> Take care now, Mr. McFarland. Good luck. Let's go. Let's go. Jack, you're gonna have an important job. Good Lord, do my eyes deceive me. A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word of it. So, you've come for some cattle? Yeah, I'm finally starting up my farm again. Or trying to, at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come on, then. Some yeehaw, right? Yeah, she didn't call Jack a devil. That's pretty rude, man. Come on. Come on. Get behind the herd. We're bringing all these? This entire cattle? Head for the river, son! Yeah! Come on, cows. Let's go. No stop it. Let's go. I'll ride with you until you get them off the ranch. How much? How much with the cattle? So, what happened? Last I heard, you were headed for some exotic escapade in Mexico. It's a long story. Too long to tell without a drink in my hand. Back to the riddles, <laughs> I see. And Mr. Williamson? Keep moving. So, is this your boy? Yeah. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Hello. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy coming through. Cute. He gets a little fur on his lip and he thinks he knows best all of a sudden. Slow up, 
Just shoot the cattle, right? Yeah. First time you ever seen or heard the game? You serious, Beard Sith? Let's go. Wow, this this game. Nice to see you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for everything. Come on. Thanks, Bounty. Okay, then. We need to move them across the river. Yo, DJ Gath, there's a there's a lot of them. I can't remember the one that I use. Like I think it actually might be called HW Monitor. I believe that's the one. Hey. Yo, you're doing a good job. Came son. out in 2010, Bearded Sith, yeah. Up the hill towards home. Will do, Pop. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, add a little character, shooting him, Let's right? Go. What's up, Hanzo? Yeah, Xbox One X had a backwards compatibility uh, treatment to it with like a yeah. like a modification to upres it. So the the frame rate's more solid and it's at higher resolution as well. So it, like visually it holds up pretty good for a 2010 game. And this originally came out on the 360 and the, the PS3. I played it on the PS3 originally. Yeah. Come on. Hold up, Jack. This don't look right. Oh. I'll deal with this. Stay with the herd, Jack. Put your guns down and run back to your family. I think that's all of them. You got him? Jack, wait there. I'm coming. You all right? You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. She just murdered those I guys. I'm scared, honest. Sorry you had to see that, son. Those men won't be stealing from anybody else. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. <laughs> I know where I'm going, Paul. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because it's gone, right? Yeah. Keep the street going with the PS4. Florida, hey man. It's gonna come down Let's to go. the frame rate on the official release. <laughs> hey Duffs. Yeah, I lost one. I think I one died by getting shot. It's just too bad. Cattle life, man. The ranch. On Netflix, the ranch. I still haven't watched that show yet. Frames are for the leaders. You're right, Florida. Oh no. I'm an elitist. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Let's go. All right. Now lead him into the pit. There you go. Man, cattling. Hurting cattle is easy, guys. Nice work, son. We made it. Did real good. Easy out there. mode. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. Whoa. Yeah. That's a fine herd we got ourselves. Damn right. I lost some beef in our end. Did a good job, son. Nice shooting. Thanks, Paul. Make a rancher of you yet. Or a novelist, or a banker, businessman, government official. Dankest, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea if that's how they did it. Yo, good Jack over here. Come back between 11 and 6 p.m. 
time is it right now? Early in the morning. Let's go talk to FBL. I love how they just, they don't straight up end the game with like the main storyline. You know, like, they progress. They, they, what you cooking? yeah. Same thing I've been they, cooking they the unfold the story with the hope of poison in you. beyond like so the, the main well, stuff. To be honest though, tastes bad enough to kill a man. I never was much of a cook, but I did try to be a good wife. And you have been. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. I look at Jack, I look at him, and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government and motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. <laughs> God damn, Crows! John! You have got to go deal with them? They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there. All right, all right. Go on. Scat. Shh. You damn crows, man. You get there? No? Whoa, crap. They're eating my damn corn. Oops. Lost too much corn. I think I'm missing something. I forget. So it's a jump up on this. He's not grabbing that. Marston. So many crows, man. Okay, you're not supposed to get up to this. Damn it! I'm supposed to just kill all the crows? Oh, you can't look up that high. Weird. Okay, I guess that was enough. <laughs> yeah, I need an airstrike, right? How about that stew. What time is it? 
Still not morning yet. Or not 11 a.m. yet. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie something or other. Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's a friend. Mm. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got myself killed again. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. How very nice. <laughs> you weren't nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Stop. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Not exactly the most romantic request, now, is it? I guess not. She saved your life, you say? Yes, ma'am. Well, then you're gonna have to help her and her family out. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Uh, you know, a little bit like you, I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. <laughs> John, wait. Maybe I should meet this McFarlane woman. Well, come on, man. Too damn curious. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Hey, Paige. I was waiting for you to ask Yo, me. you're close, man. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh, while well, you were off comporting with cowgirls in the next county? I don't think so, John Marston. You only just got home. That Jack has seen enough of me for a lifetime. So, is she married? This Bonnie McFarlane? No. What does she look like? I don't know. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal? What? Normal like me? No. Whoa. Normal as in two eyes, mouth, nose, that kind of normal. <laughs> Abigail's so jealous. Ain't no woman fine as you. A little flattery. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Uh, that you just disappeared. The first thing to do is stop Dick. Another pearl of wisdom from John Martin. <laughs> I sure do miss those. I never took you for the jealous type, Abigail. I ain't jealous so much as curious. You heard what she wrote. It's just some corn. She saved my life, and she was decent enough to me, so I owe her this much at least. <laughs> First thing to do when you <laughs> find yourself in a hole, boy? stop digging. Well, half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks would have left me there. Half dead from what? Bill didn't take so kindly to me visiting on him now. Bill never did like surprises. How was he? Same as he was when we left. Angry and dumb. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. Of Bill? You gotta be kidding me. He was only frightening if he was afraid of dumb fools. Bill weren't so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. You knew the truth, John. And they hated you for it. Yeah, Abigail's great. <laughs> She's a great character in this game. Those government bastards. Where did they hold you and Jack? I ain't sure. They kept their eyes covered there and back. Can't have been too far from here, though. They treat you right? It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. You're forgetting your marriage proposal. Very funny. <laughs> no, they learned pretty quick what would happen if they laid a finger on me. Sons of bitches. It wasn't them or being there. I didn't care about that. I've been in far worse situations. It was the waiting. I didn't know if he was coming back. Come on. We'll never get there at this rate. Uh. Of course I was coming back. You were only supposed to be gone for a couple of days. This is dialogue. Second time, perplexed. Second time. Thank you so much. We lost.
lost the entire harvest. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Marston. Likewise, thank you for saving my husband's life and for teaching the miserable goats manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is a decent first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling, Mrs. Marston? From what your husband told me, it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Hmm. Well, about as amusing <laughs> as a weeping saddle sore, ain't he, Miss McFarland? If you're gonna start yammering about women's work, John, I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so, too. I never felt so outnumbered. Yeah, the pants are so good. Ma'am? Poor bunny. Thank you very much, Art. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw one. I already got a rancher's <laughs> wife. I'm only teasing. I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlands are good people. She did flush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. You clearly <laughs> had one too many blows to the head. You ain't wrong about that, Mrs. Marston. Oh, boy. That's quite a ranch they got there. That'll be us someday. As soon as we get back on our feet. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Forget that life. It's over. Do you really believe that? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. You think those government men are just gonna leave us alone now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? A lot of pride for killing? We're back together, Oops. ain't we? Oops. Still they decide you owe them something else. Sometimes I think I was a stupid one for believing I could get out. Maybe Dutch, Bill, and Javier were just being honest with themselves. You ain't perfect, John, and I sure ain't. But you're better than they are. Than they were. Maybe we can't change. We gotta okay. Try for Jack's sake. Hey Zol, how you doing? Start again times. It's better than going back to what we were. How's Jack doing? Angry, upset. He's been through a lot. I hope he's gonna be all right. She let her drive, while right? His world was safe, normal even. Then it got turned upside down again. He ain't saying much about it. I've tried to talk to him, but how do you explain any of this? What do you say when he asks about Uncle Bill and Uncle Dutch? They were family when he was a little boy. He hides away in those books of his. Wouldn't you? It ain't like the real world's done him many favors. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Come on, John. He saw things no boy should see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Features hope. Same Zol. Same man. John, I guess I better go fix us something to eat.
Dunzo. Time's up. Okay. Noon. Wait. Film member's not here right now. Come back later. What? Freaking Jack, man. Where the hell are they? Come back later. Jack, we got things we got to do, man. Yeah, Link, it really is, man. Oh, they're both here now. All right, let's talk to Jack. Yeah, he's right here. What are you talking about? not here right now. Come back later. He's right there. Come on. All right. Fine. We'll go over to Uncle. <laughs> He's not here. Your family member's not here. Whew. A little disgusting there. Get up, old man. I I am a Get up. Oh. Oh. There I'm up. Well, thank the good lord you're back. DJ is yeah, very bad. An old man yeah. and sleeping you're in having warm heat afternoon sun. You want a long sleep, uncle? That can be arranged. It'll cost me less than food. You always was a hard and nasty man, John Marston. <laughs> you always was a useless, conniving thief. And where's them cattle? Did you take them to pasture? It's coming around to that. When exactly? It's easy to pick on the elderly. It's easy, but it ain't dignified. Come on, old man. We'll do this together. Friggin' uncle, man. Screwing up the cattle. How do you go about fixing that, did you get? Uh, if your CPU is that high, it's, it's like your cooler is not working or something properly. Maybe your case is too small? Maybe open up the case completely and see if it cools the temperatures. Let's go. Not enough airflow. Alright, you stay front. Oh wait, they're staying there? Okay. That's right, come on. Come on, let's get him out to pasture. Hey! Oh, right, that's Fahrenheit. My bad. I thought it was Celsius. <laughs> I think everybody in chat was like, Celsius? Holy crap, that's bad. Come on. Slow down! Uh, Uncle's stuck, man. Let's go. Oh boy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, DJ Gath, your your temps. If those are Fahrenheit, those are fine. But if it's Celsius, bad. 
There we go. Now I got dislodged. I was like not having him in. No stop. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's Fahrenheit? Okay, you're good. DJ got. Christ, John, there's damn feet. Let's go. Come on. West, man. You got him. Speak to the engineer. Easy. You folks okay? I think we're safe. Thank you. John Marsh to the rescue, man. We're done for. Just helping out. Now you take care. Just had to kill some man, that's all. Turn on, go. Holy crap, the cattle. Come on, easy up now. What's the cattle doing, man? The hero returned. They don't know how lucky they are. Shut it, old man. <laughs> Come on. Let's get this herd moving again. John! Them it's kind of a pain in the ass when they all oh, break yeah. up like that. Alright. On we go. Move! Let's go! Ten less. Well, yeah, I did lose a couple of cow. God damn it, I lost three cow. Jimmy's are officially rustled. Yeah. Those are your attempts for watching, uh... Let's go. Using PC for watching Twitch, DJ? Yeah. You should switch it to fair, uh, Celsius. And then like, look after the herd. and then right measure back. it that way. No thanks. You got your pound of flesh from me today. <laughs> we more famous now. That's how it is, man. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wild buffalo, man. Wouldn't worry about it for DJ. DJ's having problems because uh, programs are turning off. So something's up. Yeah, if you look at Celsius, and then if things are going above 90 degrees Celsius, then something's up with the, with the cooling of the system. Yeah, we lost stakes, unfortunately. Yeah, as well, exactly, man. Like, the, the texture, or the animation quality is obviously dated. But the voice acting is just, like, it's, it's on point. Friggin' uncle, man. What are you looking at, old man? Hey, old man. There's some Mustangs and some such out there beyond that ridge. Wondering if it was worth getting you and going around some of them up. Fair enough. We're nearly out of money. Ranch is in turmoil. We may not make it through the winter. What could we possibly want with some good quality horses? Come on. That tone of voice ain't so becoming on you. It makes you seem all pent up and angry like some black water would be business tycoon with a bad case of hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'll give you a bad case if someone just shot me in the head if you don't hurry up. <laughs> 
Are you gonna mount up, kid? Mount up. We're gonna play Undead Nightmare 2? Possibly. We will see. Why is his beard yellow? Yeah, he's a little uncleanly. Come on, follow me. Come on. Company uncle. Why you got so Signs of a smoker. I think it's like smoking and drinking. What were you gonna do? Just look at them horses all day? Well, God forbid I'd do anything around here without checking with His Royal Highness first. <laughs> yeah, you're real good at watching. That's about all you're good for, apart what? from bending your elbow. Come on! That's a kill. <laughs> That'd take care of business. Can't have no bobcat yeah. running around. No cougar. Peaches, right? Supposed to say that? Hell, damn it. Quick, throw that rope. Now. Let's go. Don't let go. You got him now, John. Whoa. <laughs> Relax now. Come on, baby. You call me, you woman. So another wild horse. Alright. Uncle Shags, yeah. That's it, man. Freaking uncle, man. Oh, 
Bring her over here. <laughs> I think that's enough for now. Let's get him back to the ring. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that weren't half bad for a couple of old reprobates. I learned a few things while I was away. Anything you wanted to know, you only had to ask me. You? What the hell do you know about any of this? <laughs> I was a rancher myself back in the day. Firstly, I don't believe you. And secondly, if you was, why have you been hiding it all these years? You act like I never do anything. I do Where's he going? Come on. The hell do you go? Over here. Look at these here horses. Fine as cream gravy. It sure will be nice to have some money in our pockets. Any money we make's going straight back into this ranch. Not down your gullet. Oh, come on. I ain't working for free here. You ain't working at all. That's the problem, old man. <laughs> what about today? And all them cattle I heard. I'm always such a kind kid around here. You got food in your belly, ain't you? A roof over your head? You're so tight. You get out of bed to turn over so as not to wear out the sheet. Don't push your luck. A little bottle wouldn't hurt, though. Something to ease an old man's aches and pains. This is why they say you should never hire the people you drink. Make sure there's enough fresh hay. <laughs> we need to keep them strong. All right. Damn, a little gratitude wouldn't kill you. Yes, Narnia. Coming out end of October. Hey, zombified. Not a bad day's work. Oh, you Hundred son. bucks, huh? Buy yeah. a little drink. New items are available for purchase. Well, how about that? There we go. Now I can finally talk to him. Talk to old Jackie boy. Jackie boy! Yeah, pretty soon. Yep. What's the book, boy? Uh, nothing, sir. What's it about? Well, it's an adventure, sir. Um, set out in the West, and it tells this amazing story of how people killed the savage redskins and how this man, this brave man, hunts the man who killed his father. Glad you're enjoying it. Talking of adventure. How'd you like to learn to track elk? Ooh, track an elk. Really big ones in the valley this time of year. Boy. We could use mm -hmm. the meat. Well, I... I know you'd rather read your adventures. Trust me, this can be very enjoyable in its own way. I suppose maybe it's a little less dramatic. So... Let's go, come on. You may get to see me get gored by some massive wild beast. Then you can write a story about that. Very funny, Paul. I've forgotten how funny you was. <laughs> Grab your things. <laughs> uh, yo, that is the taser face. VA taser face, thanks for three months. Welcome back. Yo, got my third merit badge. What's up, Tefty? I'm doing good, taser face. I'm doing real good. We're nearing the end of the uh, the Red Dead Redemption playthrough. It's been a it's been a fun ride. We're going in the direction of Elk right now. Yep. Come on, let's go. PC's blue screen first. There you go. Yo, DJ Geth, you might have bad memory, actually. Bad memory sticks. If things are that sporadic, come on. Sometimes it's like just straight up the memory let's sticks go. are having issues. Have you run a uh, mem check? Of course, it takes a while to run like a full on mem check. It's like an overnight process to do like a extensive memory test. Later, El Guapo. When he finds something, you stay back and I'll show you how to make a kill. Whatever you say, sir. Go get him, boy. You sure you're ready for this? I guess so. Now the trick to hunting is calm and patience. You gotta think and move like an animal to catch an animal. Marston, man, the intelligence right there. Venta Fresh, thanks for 15, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much. I appreciate you it. Thank you. Too excited about this. 
What do you want me to say, Paul? Yippee! <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? I mean, I know all that business must have been hard on you. Look! He picked up a scent. Come on. Doggo. You Doggo's know, got the scent. One time I hunted a bear up in tall trees. You never seen a bigger animal in all your life. Uh, Dorario, I might play the zombie DLC this month. Oh boy. We will see. There's a lot of games I want to play. Now, when we get near them, hang back and stay quiet. I'll show you how it's done. Don't worry, I won't mess it up. Look, I see one. Yeah, I see it. This one's mine. Stay with me, son. <laughs> Overkill. Let's go. Come on. I'll show you how to cut the meat. <laughs> I thought it was gonna get away. That was great, Paul. Huh? Paul, you just dead eye. The right shot. Not rush Woo! it. That's a big one. This meat should fetch a decent price in Manzanita. <laughs> this is a messy one. Alternate ending. I'm actually not sure how to do the alternate ending, Chelsea. I might have missed one, right? Hope you were watching. It'll be your turn next. Yikes. What are you doing? Let's keep moving. All right. Let's see if we can find some more. You can do it, Rufus. Rufus the doggo. Yeah. Yeah, I think we uh, destroyed the meat with all those bullets. <laughs> There's no alternative ending? Yeah, I didn't think there was, but then again, it's been like eight years, so I wasn't sure. All I know is this you is a sad ending. Shot, Jack? Of course, Paul. Remember, it's all about timing. Wait for your moment. Don't snatch I know, at it. I know. I saw how you did it. If you say so. All right. When he finds him, you take the lead. Come on, Rufus. Find them, boy. There they are. Jack, come on. Let's get them. Is it time to obliterate more meat? Meat. Steady now. You saw how I cut the meat, Jack. Now it's your turn. Cut into that meat, Jack. Hey, watch it. <laughs> hey, watch it now. Sterilize that knife before cutting into the uh, the elk. Nice work, son. You're a quick learner. Quick learn, man. Now come on, let's get this meat over to the trading post at Manzanita. Did you see me? You did good, son. Can't we shoot some more? Yeah. Only kill what you need. We'll go out again soon. You know, of course, I just, just walk near me. I told you you'd have fun, didn't I? That's a good price. The bacon and beans, yeah.
So, I mean, we're pretty close. I can't remember if the, the exact number of missions. Come on. Alright, let's go to Manzanita. What's great about it is, like, they make you feel... Like, after you have that crazy adventure over killing your old, uh, your old gang members, they make you feel like you're leading a normal life. And that's that's part of like the beauty of it. Before the ending. Doing a shortcut. Come on, Jack. Be just a moment. Good to see you. Next year the trains will be running even hey, man. faster. Mark. Hi there. Well, let's see what you got. Big orange skin, big orange meat. The selection bothers and confuses me. They Oops. always do. Thank you. Boar meat too. Boar skin. The bobcat meat. People get off the just keep coming. And there we are. Enjoy the journey. Elk meat. Elk skin. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Best place in the game, yeah? All done. Let's head home. Time to head home, man. Yeah, he's a rich man. That's fun. Where'd Jack go? There, okay. Come on, Jackie. Jackie boy! Yeah. Rufus coming too? There How much did you make? Never you mind. Enough to keep Rufus out of the stewing pot for a couple days. <laughs> and what about me? What do I get? You get to eat, son. But I did half the work. That isn't fair. What can I say? I'm another corrupt landowner. Let's go. Hmm, you're not into shortcuts, are you? I'll be rich one day, then you'll see. I sure hope so. Then you can look after us when we get old. What do you mean, get old? You are old. <laughs> we ain't old. <laughs> Uncle's old. Well, he should be in a museum. Yeah, preserved in whiskey for the next thousand years. <laughs> Oh, Paul, that was so much fun. I can't rightly believe it. Just like in the books. We'll do it again soon. Now get to your chores. How do you do? Jack, where's your mark? Where's the thing, man? 5 a.m.? Time's right now. What? Is it? Oh, is it at night? Yeah, it's at night. Alright. Yo, sounds good, DJ. I hope you get it figured out, man. Seriously. You'll be really happy once it's, like, locked in. I get to sleep one more time. It's 2 a.m. Check it, boy. What you doing? Shoot 
Shooting the birds. <laughs> You're tensing up. I'm not. You are. Your back's tense and it's making the rifle jump. You're holding it wrong. Here, let me show you. I don't need you to show me, Paul. <laughs> Guess not. Don't show me and you'll just, you'll just run off again or something. It's better I teach myself. I ain't going nowhere. Whatever you say, Paul. Don't be like that. Sorry. Wolves been after the herd. Got to get out there and scare them off. You want to come with me? Safer with two. Okay. Got to scare off the wolves, man. All right, let's go. Stay on Rufus now. Let's get him, man. Blue blood, GG. Thanks for ten, man. Less than one month of redemption. Tefty number one. Yo, thank you very much, Blue blood. Appreciate it, man. Less than a month to forsaken. Oh god. I like Rufus. I can shoot. You know that. Why you gotta treat me like a kid? That's what fathers do. Uh -oh. What are you doing? Just trying to look out for you. you. Can't just decide to be a father when it suits you. What about the rest of the time? Come on, Jack. That ain't exactly fair. You're gonna land us both in the dirt. One minute you're telling me to be a man, the next you're telling me I'm just a boy. Jack, come on, bud. It's gonna take a while for things to get back to normal. Normal? Was it ever normal? I don't know, but it'll get better, son. I promise. I'm sorry, Paul. You don't need to be. I don't mean to be moody. I'm glad you're home. I really am. It's just every time you go off, I worry you're not coming back. Where are you? Yeah. That's a good boy. Jack's so moody, man. Where are they, Rufus? He's on to something. Stay on me now. Come on. Come. Yeah, he's email, right? Stay on him, Rufus. Yeah, he did admit it. Jack's honest. What do you smell, boy? He's moody and honest. Shot. I'm actually not sure. 
Who right. voices him? We should head back now. Should we, we skin all the wolves? <laughs> Shoot him three or four times to be sure. That was some good shooting, son. So can I go out hunting by myself now? Hold on there, cowboy. You ain't ready. For Jack, didn't shoot anything. One step at a time. Uh, please, bro. We'll go out again soon. Yeah, Rufus should have found Bill and uh, Javier. You're right. I ain't gonna tell you again, Jack. You don't leave the farm without checking with me first. You hear? Uh, yes, sir. I hear you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Jack did literally nothing, man. Of course. Were you a murderer? What? That place where they held us. Ma shouted at a guard one time, and he yelled that you were a murderer. Maybe, but I live my life believing there's a difference between killing and murdering. Not for the person who's dead. <laughs> no. And I guess I've been both. But that's how it goes. We all do what we have to to survive. And sometimes it ain't pretty, but in the end, we pay the price for what we did. Like those rustlers who attacked our camp? Damn exactly. Right. Look, when I was a kid, things were different. The rules were different, but that's over now. You know, we could be outlaws, you and me. Damn. <laughs> All we did was kill a few wolves. Well, I read a book about a father and son who robbed banks. What arm, Willie? That was his name. I'm happy with my two arms, if you don't mind. Just imagine <laughs> it, though. John and Jack Marston. Those wanted men in the West. And what about your ma? Well, I mean, we still come home. You live in a dream world. It ain't like they tell it in books. <laughs> and it ain't no way to live life. It was ugly and brutal. All right, jeez. I was only joking around. You'll have a farm of your own. You can read and write. Don't waste your life, son. Don't live like I had to. What are you doing? Hey. There you go. Giving him some advice, man. Logic, right? Yeah. Just come on home after doing all that murdering, killing, and robbing and stuff. Turn into a decent hunter, son. But try to stay out of trouble. Try not to be an idiot, son. <laughs> do 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 do. Back after 3 p.m. Alright, I guess we'll go sleep real quick. Have a quick nap. Don't shoot people, yeah. Life advice. When you're gonna hunt, make sure you shoot no less than nine bullets into your elk. Otherwise, they might run away. Just saying. Howdy. Hi, howdy. <laughs> He's got a pretty nice house. Right? I'm just going to lie down for a few hours. Don't mind me. Did we too long? After 3 p.m. today. What? Okay. Okay. It's like, hey, maybe you should go do some stuff. You know? Other things. Things and stuff. What's that? One, two. That night, okay. Young guns? I don't think I have Samified. One more snooze. We're good. That there, John Marston, I swear, he slept 18 hours one time. God damn. Two o'clock. One more time. 
Oh, there, John Martian. He slept 24 hours that one time. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Howdy. Howdy, God. Is he gonna do it? Come back between 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Which one's gonna be, game? Huh? 5 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay. <laughs> Getting the old runabout right now. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Emilio Estevez. I've I remember hearing about young guns. I don't think I've seen it. If I did. Can't remember. Swear that dear John Marsh needs to sleep 24 hours. Run out by that dear silo with the corn is and run back in and sleep again. Wow. Hey Joey. Hey, buddy. Alright, we're definitely good now. Could have gone this way the whole time. Wow. That's a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> Went to bed at a normal 2 a.m. Ended up sleeping through the whole day at 9 p.m. Phone was dead. Went straight into a coma. Boss called you four times. Wow. Sometimes, you know, you gotta get some sleep, man. Just how it is. What is it, old man? It's Jack. The kid. The kid. Well, I just saw him out in the valley. Seems your tail's a hunt and got the better of him. He said he was going up to the pass, track down that grizzly that's been seen up there. The kid can't hunt a grizzly. Thing will eat him alive. I know. I tried to stop him. But you're worthless as a lawyer at a lynch. Damn you, old man. This is my son. Anything happens to him, you wish it was you that bear attacked. <laughs> Freaking uncle, man. Rufus, you come with? Follow Rufus, alright. Rufus! Where's Jack? Pretty close, Kohai. Where's he going? Yeah, hunting cheeseburger now, right? Yeah. I don't think he's actually killable. Oh! Where's Jack? Where is he? I'm so sorry, Rufus. Oh my god. I felt like legit bad. It's a Let's go. pretty fast dog, right? Come Poor on, Rufus, Rufus, man. Find Jack! My one and only way to find Rufus. I mean, Jack. Nearly killed him. Run, Jack, Rufus! Whoa there. Easy. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, Rufus is the real badass, right? Yeah! Faster! Oh, uh, Kohai, nope. Yeah, he can't be a part of it since he's already done testing for the game. Easy. Holy crap, what's going on here, Skyrim? Jesus.
Good boy, Rufus. Dumbass, Jack. Oh boy. Don't move. Keep your head down. Damn. I killed the bear. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking, going off on your own? You're just a boy. No, I'm not. I can skin an elk, break horses. Come on, let's get you home. <laughs> skin that bear while you're at it. Now hold tight. Come on. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. You're lucky to be alive, you stupid boy. <laughs> what did I tell you about going off by yourself? I go off by myself plenty. You just don't know about it. You're never around. So this is my fault? You disobeyed me. I was trying to prove myself. Prove what? By getting yourself killed? You're always telling me I read too many books, that I'm not a hey, real game man. Nation. I never said that. I just thought if I could do something you'd like, maybe you wouldn't go away again. Son? I ain't going anywhere. And believe me, neither are you for a real long time. <laughs> More! <laughs> Come on, Rivers. We're going this way. We shortcutting this. What's your mother gonna say? I'm sorry, Paul. Please don't be angry. I ain't angry. I'm disappointed. I'm not angry. Don't you I'm just ever disappointed. Run off on your own like that again. <laughs> all right, all right. I told you I was sorry. What would have happened if I hadn't come along? I don't know. I'd probably be dead. You'd be a pile of bones right now. What would you care? I'm just a nuisance to you anyway. That ain't true, Jack. I'd do anything for you. I guess there's only room for one hero in this family. Trust me, son. I ain't no hero. I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> took yeah, never around. Took him hunting 17 minutes ago. <laughs> Come on. Going after a grizzly? What were you thinking? You've only been hunting twice. I'm sorry I made you worry, Paul. Just twice, man. Don't be too eager to grow up, son. Ain't as much fun as it looks. Thank God for Rufus. You're ready to hunt bears, I'll take you. enemy that shall be destroyed hey Jack hey Paul need a hand with that uh, no sir I got mm. it looks like you have did Jack just buy locate well, you're good with them tools <laughs> thank you Paul you make this land real nice one day me and your mother do our part by the time your turn comes hell this could be the nicest farm in the county Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. <laughs> Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? <laughs> well, I meant the thing yet, but... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Today, John Mars will stop shooting. I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. <laughs> food. You got some food over here? 
ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody Obi. knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. Obi, you okay? <laughs> Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? Just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy! Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Stop that! Turn to Uncle. You hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Yeah, army versus the main character. <laughs> I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Feels bad, man. No, I ain't gonna let that happen. You ain't gonna take us. Oh no, they got uncle. He ain't all right. Noon, right? You wanted it this way, fellas. Join Uncle. Computer ammo phone. Alright. Guess we need to use a high power pistol. Friggin' Uncle, man. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and. 
take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Let's get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. Rip uncle, man. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there. That's sad. We'll make a run for the board. Stay close and keep your eyes open. God damn it! Come on! Pick him off! I'm Call yourself soldiers! <laughs> We're gonna end this together. What are you doing? Nice, Even this up a bit. She's stuck. Phil's Avenue. Hey. hey, Carl, how you doing? Come on. Now listen. Jack, Gnarly, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. Keep riding and don't look back. Don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> the double jack? What the hell is happening? Is that the ghost of Jack? Yikes, man. This freaks me out. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Creepy, right? Oh, boy. Super sad, man. What an asshole.
Send a whole army after him. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Super sad, man. When I first played, I like couldn't believe they actually killed him. Blessed are the peacemakers. <laughs> Did they bury Uncle? <laughs> what about Uncle, man? He took a bullet. Nah, Travis, it's the prequel, actually. The next game. How many years later? Three years later? Wow, that's rough. Just three years later. What a terrible day for rain, right? GG's. Freaking US Army. Entire army came to kill John Marston. Thirty was respectable in those days. I suppose it was. I suppose it was like difficult to live past thirty in those times. Red Dead Two is set to be before this. Yeah. What is the last mission? Florida. Stranger in Blackwater? I don't remember that. Come on, fast. This one? I might have done. I don't quite remember. I think when I played this after John died, I was like, game's over, man. Yeah, I don't think I ever got sweet revenge, man. You're playing his son, Jack. Zombified. Jack Marston.
Yo, JP Aquaman, thanks for 20 months, man. Good to see you. Are feeling better today? I am, yes, definitely. The, uh, the smoke has been interesting. Interesting to say the least. Should be a new question mark that pops up. I haven't been paying attention to the question marks. Yeah, stranger, right? Wait, American Libyist. American Lobbyist? Oh, remember my family. That's what it is. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. Chest full of medals? I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mm. mister. Thank you kindly. Yeah, let's see up. His mom passed three years later, I guess. Hey, Ross. Your revenge for your father's death, the Federal Bureau agent in Blackwater told you that Edgar Ross' uh, wife lives near Lake Don Julio. Go find her. Lake Don Julio. Lake Don Julio? There it is. Alright, we're going to fast travel. Hello there. Hey, man. Yeah, rip, 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 man. I get up here. Hey. Right. Someone told me the mayor likes to dabble in opium. Guess so, Travis. Back in the day, He's like, oh yeah, I know that chap. Time to get some ammo. Save game. Oh, that's right. I can't fast travel in here. <laughs> Whoops. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, man. I forgot about that. Gotta get outside town. Yeah, assassin. I think that's kind of what happened to me too, man. And also, I didn't see like a big thing that was next, so I just kind of assumed like free roam began. But also, I felt super sad that like Marston was gone. D dozen, right? These cowboys D dozen me. Travel to the waypoint. It just felt like a cowboy story, man. Outlaw story. Main character just then felt so weird to play as Jack. It felt really like you felt done. Like you've been shot. Howdy, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? 
Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Uh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <laughs> Come on now, Go find Ross Brothers near Rio del Toro. Dim near Ross Brothers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I definitely didn't do a whole lot of fast traveling when I first played the game. But because I've already played the game before and I know for the most part what happens with most stuff, chose to chose to play it a little bit quicker. Even though I do think, like, not fast traveling is probably the best way to play the game. Because you just get, you get so much of the experience of the landscape. Which is really cool. But on this mission, I don't remember this mission. And I do feel like I stopped playing the game after I became Jack. So. Maybe, I guess that's missing out a bit. But honestly, like, it was John Marston's story. This is like Jack getting revenge. I feel like it's a different story. Is there a wolf? Let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about those wolves. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. <laughs> I thought this letter was important. We got to, this. gotta be delivering this to your letter, man. <laughs> oh my god. Get wrecked. Damn near Ross boys. Not too bright, I say. I looted him, man. <laughs> I knew those wolves were gonna be a problem. I was worried that the wolf was gonna kill him before I could talk to him and further the, the quest line. Don't make me shoot you. I swear. These damn wolves. Plot armor wore off yet. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, death by wolf is pretty good. Damn wolves. 
One more message. Fried chicken, uh, there's a possibility. I don't think I can. I think I'm. I think the podcast is gonna be live when it releases. I can play it early though. Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, yeah. sir. But I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one, too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man. Time for a duel. Who <laughs> got the auto pistol? Damn, Edgar. You done died. Woo! Yo, Lightning Cell, thanks for 25, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 25 months is a long time. Poor Edgar Ross. Shot him right in the unit. Redemption. We officially got redemption. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I ever saw this. After, like, after John Marston died and the story, the, the game continued as Jack, I was like, I felt done. I felt crushed. What an awesome game. I shot him, yeah. What an awesome game. So much depth, man. I can't wait. Can't wait for the second. Yeah, it's a masterpiece. No idea how the second one can live up to this one. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, man. I it does make me worried that they're gonna have like a a good game, but not a, a Red Dead game. Yeah, what a journey, right? Alice, if you haven't played it, man, it's it's an experience. It really is. The Xbox One X feels pretty good with it. I don't know how PlayStation Now feels with streaming it. Streaming it like that. I went for the jewels, man, yeah. Yeah. Solid game, man. Solid game. Yeah, and I never played the DLC, so maybe I'll play it. We'll see. There's definitely a lot of games I want to play, though. Yeah, great soundtrack, ambiance, dialogue, voiceovers, like, such good. Both Sticks of Rain were bad? Yo, is that right, DJ? Holy crap, man. Both? Both did... Huh, I mean, it happens. It, bad ram definitely happens, but both of them, wow. Do you get those replaced? You're probably going to fix all that then. Yep. Later, Zombified. Oh, yeah, Atlas. No, if you don't have an Xbox One X, you're good. Just play it on PS4. PlayStation Now. Just worried they shoved the online part down your throat? Yeah, I'd be worried about that too. Yeah. Look tired? Well, it's been an eight-hour stream. My the main character died. That's depressing. 
Depression results in looking tired. <laughs> well, the key red did too at this tone. Ah, uh, same, Cherry Papa. I agree, man. I want another like epic Western tale. Because that's what's great about this game is that they tell a they tell a legit cowboy story. Like you feel like you're in a spaghetti western. Yeah, you died, right? Basically, you died. You don't see that often. They kill you at the end. Yeah. Yo, Subnautica Trappist, right? Definitely, man. You understand the full story now? Yeah. You get redemption. In order to get credits, you have to get redemption. How are they going to get redemption in the next one, though? That's the question. If it's like a pre-sequel. A prequel. Yeah, Navy, it's so good, man. It's on another level. Yeah, Florida, I agree, man. No game ending makes me so sad and angry. Is this one? Because they kill you, man. Yeah, I never played through Spec Ops the line. Still John in the next one? I don't think so, Wired. No, I think you're a different character in the next one. You have like a posse. I believe it's like in the gangs. Couldn't play this after John died and had to start anew. Yeah. That's why, I mean, this is literally what happened after John died and I saw that you were Jack. I was like, maybe I hunted a little bit more, but then I was like, GG's. I'm done. Was it the, G <laughs> the ghost of Jack <laughs> while my clone rode off? That was hilarious. Seeing like two Jacks. Jack just standing there and being like, Hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's okay, Kimpachi. It'll be in the VOD, man. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Red Dead trailer today. It's exciting. See actual gameplay. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, man. Well, it's been an awesome stream, guys. I go on YouTube? Yeah, I plan on putting it on YouTube. Uh, man, we started out with like an insane um, sub train. <laughs> In the course of like 30 minutes, 100 gifted subs. That was pretty nuts. Um, it was very, very kind and generous for you guys to hang out. Spend your time with me. So I do appreciate all of it. Undead Nightmare, maybe. We'll see. I have things that I want to play. I want to play Dead Cells. I don't think I'm going to jump into it now because I'd want to play at least two hours. And that would put me at 4.15 a.m. my time. Which would be a little late. Just a little on the late side. So, yeah, but I want to play Dead Cells. I want to play uh, Monster Hunter World PC. Um, I have to finish my Destiny stuff. I've got tons of things I want to play. Tons of things, man. There's always an infinite number of things to grind for in Warframe. Just need to stream like 18 hours a day. That would solve all of it. Yeah. That'd get it solved. What time's the reveal? I don't know. Yeah, the sub train was right in the beginning, Kiva. It was nuts, man. The alert, like, didn't stop going off for 30 minutes. At least, I think, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Whew, that fame. Tumbleweed. 
Remember my family complete. That's really cool how they like, they kind of hid the credits with that mission. That's awesome. Being forced to solar in for a second. I didn't know it was solar, Brock Kelly, but that's good to know, man. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Seriously, I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the subs and resubs. The, the support is always in incredible, and I'm uh, truly grateful to be able to stream for you guys.